Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Tuesday night. And we begin with that stunning launch, a new American rocket built not by NASA, but by billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk. And millions were watching today his $90 million gamble, launching his own rocket. The SpaceX Falcon Heavy lifting off into a clear sky, some very unusual cargo inside. Elon Musk's own Tesla sports car carried into space where it is tonight with a dummy there in the driver's seat. That car now speeding toward Mars. You can't make this up. Three rockets attached are supposed to come back down and stick the landing, but would they? Millions again watching that part as well, all part of Elon Musk's hope of carrying people back to the moon and starting a colony on Mars. ABC's David Curley leads us off from Cape Canaveral tonight. From the same launch pad America sent men to the moon, Elon Musk's SpaceX ignited the Falcon Heavy, the biggest rocket in the world. Actually, three rockets strapped together. The two boosters recycled. Cheers as they pull away from the $90 million vehicle. Successful separation. Those boosters slowing re-entry with another engine firing and a nearly synchronized landing. And the Falcon have landed. And then the big reveal of the cargo. Musk's very own roadster from his other company, Tesla, which makes electric cars. In the driver's seat, a dummy in a spacesuit and a message on the dash, don't panic. The playful test cargo accompanied by music from David Bowie. The plan is to send the Tesla toward Mars, but first, remarkable pictures of the dummy dubbed Starman with a glorious background of Earth. What did you learn? What did... Falcon Heavy teach you? Uh, teaches, I guess, told me like crazy things can come true. Um, like, because I, uh, he'd said, like, I didn't really think this would work. Because um, when I see the rocket lift off, I see like a thousand things that, that could not work, and it's amazing when they do. The big rocket means much heavier cargo. Satellites can be carried to space. And it gets Musk a bit closer to his dream of going to Mars, even possibly colonizing the red planet. Musk, who said there was only a 50-50 chance of this working, has a stunning success tonight. This was incredible to watch today. David Curley, the best assignment of the day, watching it in person at Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> the spectacular mission took place. And David, we saw those two boosters land back in Florida. So what are we learning about the third center booster that was supposed to return safely? And what about the car tonight, the David Bowie uh, music playing there on the radio? I tell you what, first of all, David, it was an amazing launch. You could actually feel the thunder from the launch as the rocket was up in the air. As far as that core center rocket, it actually ran out of propellant. It slammed into the ocean right next to the drone ship, damaged it, it was lost. A minor setback actually considering the spectacular day and of course the pictures of the roadster from space. Elon Musk said today even he was stunned by those pictures. It was quite a scene, David. Billion years. All right, David Curley, none of us will be here to report on whether or not it survives that long. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.